Welcome to Community Focus. This is Tom Crown, finally once standing up, as uh, many shows you've seen in the past, uh, always glued to the chair. But uh, today I'm happy to say I have an apron on, and for a reason. <clears throat> First of all, hope you had a great Christmas, enjoyed that uh, turkey dinner, and uh, probably Thanksgiving had the same thing. Well, it's time for a change, folks, and I want you to raise your hand, take the pledge this coming January that you are going to switch to a better diet, healthier diet, and uh, to uh, speak on that, we have a guest with us this morning, Joanne Leith. Uh, Joanne is a spokesperson for the uh, USA Rice Council, right? That's right. And uh, Joanne, I, I know something that maybe a lot of our viewers don't know, and that is that rice is, in fact, very healthy for you. Correct? Very nutritious for yeah. you, yes, because it's a complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. And that's what we should be eating much more of as opposed to those high-fat foods, which are also are high-protein foods, but it's the fat in those foods that we need to stay away from. Yeah. So uh, rice being, a, as I said, a complex carbohydrate, you get fiber, you get nutrients, you get energy from this food. What you don't get is a lot of calories. Can you explain a little bit about what the USA Rice Council is? Well, the Rice Council is a non profit organization and we're sponsored by growers by millers people involved in the rice industry and what we do is exactly what I'm doing here today with you talking about rice and we're also going to cook some of this stuff absolutely you know I mean? one thing uh, that I, I, I wish and it's it's really a bad break for a lot of you is the <laughs> fact that uh, you're looking at all this wonderful food you just cannot smell how great it is uh, I, I can smell uh, some garlic wafting mm -hmm. around the studio here right now. Yes, I'm warming it right now. Yeah, You know, Joanne, uh, we have some fellows in back of the cam. We have one gentleman in back of the camera and a couple in the other room who uh, hopefully they'll be able to get a chance to sample some of this stuff after the show. If they're right? good, yes. Good. <laughs> um, you know, it seems unlikely that rice would be a food that would, would grow here in the United States. Can you tell us how it uh, came to be here? Well, it didn't always. It's not a native crop uh, with the United States. It was grown in India first and they feel that it grew there about 7,000 years ago if you can mm -hmm. imagine. Mm -hmm. Archaeologists have found petrified rice grains in India that they feel were cultivated at that time. Mm -hmm. And then about 3,000 BC we know it was grown in China because a, an emperor of that period wrote an ordinance for the planting of rice. So not only did they grow it, but it was so important to them that the emperor was actually involved in the planting. Mm -hmm. Now it didn't come to our country till a little bit later than that, actually around the late 1600s. And there's a good story. I don't know if it's no, true or it, not. Well, tell me how. It, it came by way of ship. It was an English ship carrying a, a cargo of rice, and it foundered off the shores of Charleston, South Carolina. Hmm. The people there helped get that ship seaworthy again, and in gratitude the captain gave them part of that cargo, rice. Huh. And it just flourished in that warm, moist soil of the Charleston, South Carolina now, area. Where is it grown here in the United States? Now it's grown in Arkansas. Because Why it, Arkansas? Uh, because, <laughs> why not? <laughs> because, oh, no, the soil is, is correct for it. They have a certain kind of soil that is, is conducive to the growing of rice. Okay. They have correct climate for it because it's a warm, moist climate. They have the source of water. You do need water. And uh, so all the, and flat land. It's good to, to have flat land. You could, uh, actually grow rice on a mountainside, mountain but you'd have to terrace off the mountain to make it flat. So uh, it's easier, much easier to grow it on land that's already flat. Okay. So that's why a good one third of everything we grow, or as far as rice, uh, is grown in Arkansas. So a besides lot in the, Louisiana too. Besides the chickens and uh, the yes. new president coming up, that's we also right, have Arkansas yeah. to thank for our rice too. <laughs> exactly. I'll be done. Well, is, is Let's get it underway. What are we you going to show do? us uh, right. what you're going to do here? This is some healthy recipes. You started by talking about health. So these mm -hmm. are recipes that are a little bit lower in the calories, definitely lower in cholesterol and fat. We try to keep that at a minimum because rice itself does not have cholesterol. Of course, it's a plant food, and it is very low in fat naturally. It's also low in sodium. So whatever cholesterol we're adding, we're adding it. We're adding it this way, and okay. that's why we're very careful. Okay. Now, what I'm starting with is a teaspoon, that's all, just a teaspoon of olive oil mm -hmm. in which I'm sauteing a little crushed garlic, about oh, one clove of uh, crushed or grated garlic. Yeah. And to this, I'm going to add some fresh vegetables. By the way, what I'm making here is rice primavera. Okay. Now, usually you have pasta primavera, 
This time it's rice. Rice primavera. That okay. is about, oh, I think there's two cups of, whoops, Oops. broccoli uh -huh. uh, florets in there, and you let that saute very, very lightly. When you're cooking something like this, whether it's in a wok, because this would work very nicely in a wok or a fry pan or skillet on the stove, undercook. Always undercook your vegetables. Oh, because you could... That's how they get soggy, right? That they get soggy. You lose nutrition when you cook it out of them. And they don't look as nice. This way, they're going to be uh, very green and very crunchy. And that's what you want in this kind of is a our, recipe. Is our camera picking this up, by the way? This, this, this stuff looks great. Mm. Then to this, I'm also adding zucchini. another green vegetable. Yeah, zucchini. This yeah. is one zucchini sliced nice and thinly. You know what they call zucchini, Joanne? What? It's uh, cucumbers with hardening of the arteries. <laughs> So, well, that's the yeah. well, we're not talking about that kind of thing oh, here, okay. no. There'll All be right. no hardening of the arteries mm. when you eat rice. Fresh mushrooms, <laughs> right. too. Fresh mushrooms, mm. about a cup of sliced fresh mushrooms. Oh, boy. And the other fresh vegetable is tomato. And when you do a tomato like this, always take the seeds out. It just makes it less um, liquid gotcha. because otherwise sometimes it gets much too liquidy in this way you're going to get the full benefit of the color and the taste of the tomato without getting excess liquid to it. And you'll see why that's important a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. Now that is going to saute, and I'm going to put you to work. You have an apron oh, on. Okay, you're not good. just going to sit there. Alrighty. What you have here is low calorie, low cholesterol mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. All right. And to this, you're going to whisk in about a half a cup of skimmed milk. By the way, I want to thank my wife for the apron today, because, uh, <coughs> uh, Otherwise, the stuff would be all over the place. You know, there you are. guys You're whisking are really away. bad at this stuff. You know, no, they you know, aren't. Some you know. of the best chefs in the world are men. men? What are really? you saying? Sure. Well, I, I guess I'm pretty good at you know, because uh, I, I can make spaghetti. You if know? you can eat, you can cook. That's, That's the way right. I look at it. That's right. And I can always now. put a, a dinner in the microwave oven, too. There you go. Yeah. This is cheese, but it's about a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese, which okay. is, the, again, a low-fat type of cheese. Oh, let's put in some pepper. But because this is a white sauce in this Primavera, I'm going to use the white pepper okay. instead of the black pepper, because black pepper sometimes looks like little dirty marks in there if you use a white yeah, sauce. I, I so use that. white pepper okay. in there. All right, now we're getting close to the time. Okay, as a matter of fact, we are getting close to the time. Uh -huh. We have to run a commercial, believe it or not. All right, then we're let's gonna, wait and saute go this a little more. And, and don't, don't leave, because we're going to come right back and find out about how to cook healthy with rice right after this time. Welcome back to uh, Tom's Kitchen today. Uh, <laughs> eat your heart out, Julia Child. Uh, I'm, I'm here today with uh, Joanne Lee. We are talking about the benefits of rice. Joanne is with the uh, USA Rice Council. And I want to mention, too, that this show today is sponsored by McLaren Regional Medical Center. Uh, later on, we're going to have a young lady on the program who's going to talk about some of the upcoming programs, uh, Dieting for Your Health. Uh, also, I, I was going to wear this on the program. Uh, this is one of the, uh, the caps I had left over from a previous McLaren show, and they said no. So uh, if any hairs <laughs> fall into this today, Joanne, uh, it's, it's their fault. We need right? to get you a chef's toque for this show, the, the long, tall hat, the That's white right. hat. And if you notice, I, I've switched aprons. I've got a uh, uh, rice healthy, uh, healthy and I get to keep this, right? Absolutely, See, just absolutely. For that Very. We come in all colors and sizes, et cetera. All right. all right, back to this recipe, because now my yes. vegetables are pretty much done. I don't want to get them any more done. Okay. So that mixture of milk and a little uh, low-fat mayonnaise with the, pepper. With the uh, pepper and the cheese goes right here. I moved, okay. I moved a little place for you, oh, and you can thank you. put the sauce. This is the sauce. Now, right. as soon as it goes into the fry pan, it's going to start to thicken and to boil, and that cheese in there is going to melt. So as soon as it does, then you can go ahead and combine the rest of the vegetables with 
the sauce. And here is the basis of your Primavera. Oh, okay. Now, is that's just regular 2% milk that you have in there? No, I had skim milk oh, in skim there. Oh, skim milk. Mm -hmm. okay. Skim milk and the low-fat, low-cholesterol mayonnaise okay. and the low-cal or low-fat cheese. Also, the Parmesan cheese is a, a hard cheese. The harder the cheese, usually the lower uh, of the, the fat content of the cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, a little bit of fresh parsley. Okay. And I didn't want to overcook that. That's why I have that in there. Okay, just All right, you want to put bowl, that over yeah, here? <laughs> then, of course, I don't think I forgot the most important part, the okay. rice. Oh, that's And that's the very rice important. just goes right into the whole dish. You know, once upon a time, we used to have one dish meals we called casseroles, mm -hmm. and we'd put all things, sorts of things in the oven. Nowadays, we're doing things in a fry pan like this, mm -hmm. and it's the same basis. You're having a uh, one dish meal. Everything that you need is right here. You don't have any meat, but you do have the cheese in there and the eggs, so that's the source of your protein. The uh, rice and the vegetables are the source of your carbohydrates, so it's really an excellent type of meal. And there you have oh rice primavera. And we do get to taste this later on. Right? I, I guarantee, Good. yes. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay, you heard a gang, uh, the, the camera people are standing in the background, they're uh, <clears throat> licking their chops. Uh, look, can we talk a little bit about uh, uh, why uh, rice is so important to the U.S. agriculture? How? Uh, well, rice is a two billion dollar industry in wow. this country, and it's actually the fifth largest cash food crop that we grow, behind huh. corn and wheat and barley and soy, then rice. People don't even realize it's grown in this country, and here it is a very viable crop. Mm. So uh, it, it, we export about 45 percent of everything we grow. We consume 55 percent of it, and so it's a it helps in the balance of payments. It goes out to 115 different countries. So all there's over the a world. lot of farmers out there to depend on this. That's right. Japan, they are, they're not so agreeable, are they? No, we would love to sell rice to Japan, but Japan does not want to buy U.S. grown or any kind of foreign rice at all. It's not the U.S. in particular. Uh, they have a, a heavy subsidy on their rice, and they want to keep it within the family, so to speak. They don't want to become dependent, I think, on, on any foreign source or outside source for such a staple food in their diet, such as rice. But GATT talks uh, are going on right now, negotiations, mm -hmm. and I think in time, uh, we may not supply them heavily, but at least a little bit of U.S. rice is going to end up in Japan. De Joanne, didn't you mention prior to taping that some of those Japanese businessmen that come over here to this country end up sneaking some of that rice? Well, oh, it's not sneaking. They can buy it for their personal use, but they do. They take home our rice uh, to use at home because it's so much less expensive um, here in the United States than it is in Japan. I see. So they take it home as a souvenir. Ah. The exclusivity of rice, I, I always thought that it came from, from Asia, but it, but that's not the case, right? India first? Well, uh, India, India and China, okay. I think basically in that area, and then of course it's grown all over the Asia, I use that term mm -hmm. broadly, uh, the continent as well as the surrounding islands. Yeah. I've seen uh, it cooked in a rice. variety of foods, you know, there, there's a, a, a Yugoslavian dish where they take and pack it into the peppers. Yes, um, yes, stuffed peppers. They call it which we, uh -huh. yeah. And mm -hmm. we use stuffed peppers here or stuffed cabbages in some societies or in Italy they use it as a risotto, uh, that creamy kind of a, a rice and cheese dish. Uh, every country uses rice in some form and mm. really it, it is grown on every continent. You know, and I notice it more and more in restaurants and also, uh, yes. well, go to your neighbor's house and you see it in more dishes today. That's, but the restaurants are interesting because just five years ago, if you went into a restaurant, it, you would be asked what kind of potatoes you would like with now your meal. Now they want to know if you want rice, rice or off. potatoes, right, yes. Right. And more people are eating the rice, so mm -hmm. uh, very definitely it's more popular. Joanne, how can rice be utilized in more and more in your menu planning? Yeah. Well, you really could use it more times than once in a day without even realizing that you're using the same food. For instance, you could have a, a rice breakfast, either a hot cereal uh, cooked or a cold That's rice right. cereal, yeah. or one of the commercial rice cereals that mm -hmm. are crispy or puffy or something like that. So you're brown eating it rice. once. Brown rice is really brown good Brown rice too. is excellent. Is yes. What's the difference between white and brown rice? One has the bran still on it oh, and the other does not. Okay. Yeah, on is top of it, oh, no, around the, the edge of it. Mm -hmm. uh, bran, first 
all, let me explain. Brown rice comes with bran around every rice grain. And then when you rub or mill that rice, what you're doing is rubbing off the bran and what's underneath is white rice. That's the only difference between white and brown rice. I see. And yes, the brown rice is a little bit more nutritious and especially because it has a high amount of fiber in it mm -hmm. as opposed to the white rice which loses the fiber. But white rice is enriched, especially in this country, about 87% yeah, enrich of it is enriched. Else, so you're getting almost the same nutrition with white rice as you are with brown. Yeah. We have to go for a, a short time out with our guest uh, Joanne Leith and also uh, another guest following up from uh, McLaren Regional Medical Center. Don't go away. We're going to find out some more about cooking with rice. Absolutely. Right after this time off. Welcome back into TC's Kitchen. And uh, we have uh, a guest with us this morning. In case you've tuned in a little late, shame on you if you have. Uh, Joanne Leith. Joanne is with the USA Rice Council. And if you did tune in late, you missed uh, that uh, great... Uh, cooking that went on here with uh, it's sitting here in front of me and I wish the show was over with right now Joanne so that we could start <laughs> eating this but uh, I want to know uh, is rice an economical food that's something oh, that we yes. should put out you know very definitely especially with everybody trying to stretch I the dollars know, these days everyone is you know? and uh, it's about four cents a serving which is very economical you can't beat that oh, really? you have to realize yeah. that rice well, expands three times its volume. So if you buy a pound of rice, by the time you finish cooking it, it becomes three pounds of rice that you're eating. So that's one of the reasons it's so economical. Is there any secrets to cooking rice? I mean, other than what you showed us here in the, the two previous segments? Well, of course, that rice was already cooked that I was using, but to cook it that way, all I had to do was remember to measure and time. You must measure the, the rice and the water, usually one to two is the proportion. Okay. One cup rice, two cups of water. Bring it to a boil, uh, turn it way, way down to a simmering temperature, and that's when you start to time it. Exactly 15 minutes as will give you... As soon as it starts to bubble then. That's right. Words. When it boils, okay. go, bring that heat way down and then begin to time it for 15 minutes. No. And it should be perfect. What about the stuff that you see? You know, a lot of bachelors out there, I was one not too long ago, where you see it inside of a box and, you know, uh, not, we're not going to name names here, but is that just as good as the rice that you would buy in a bag? And, oh, uh, well, whether it's in a box a or a bag, doesn't it's matter. Still rice, you are right? talking about the pre cooked type of rice, is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. That way you just put it in water for five minutes and boom, it's there. Well, that's wonderful. That, that's uh, the pre cooked variety of rice. It's very convenient, a little more expensive, mm -hmm. but it is heavily enriched, so you do get a great deal of nutrients from it. And it's very easy to do. So if that's the kind of rice you like, by all means. So, nutritionally speaking, what does uh, rice do for the health conscious people out there in the 90s? It gives you the complex carbohydrates that you need more of and therefore you won't be eating as much fat. Good. You know, uh, I, I noticed you, you showed us the one recipe right there, but I, I, are there a variety of recipes that, uh, in case our viewers are interested? Yes, that recipe and the one that's beside it are also in our uh, brochure, Light, Lean, and Low Fat. We have a brochure that is free if you send a stamp self-addressed envelope to the address that we'll give you later on on okay. the screen. Get we your can, pencil we can ready. Give it you can to give you right it now. now, as a matter of All fact. Right, if uh, George is out there and he's listening, there it is there up on the screen, is. the Rice Council. Department LLL. Now, by the way, how did you get that in there? That's our secret code for light, lean, and low fat. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Joanne, and the post office box is 740121, Houston, Texas, 77274. Now, that, that is free, right? For the, yes. The, but if they want to get real fancy... Uh, There's another one, right? We have a lovely okay. cookbook uh -huh. with a uh, lot, 100 different recipes all in color, mm -hmm. and that's $2.50. So if you send your check or money order to the Rice Council, same address, they'll send you the cookbook instead of the free pamphlet. And Joanne, I, I know that a lot of our viewers today are watching and seeing this beautiful apron. Uh, they, they can't get one of these, right? That is an exclusive that's to you That's only for television and, uh, yeah. talk show hosts, right? <laughs> right? Okay. We have a couple of young ladies here on the sideline who, uh, by the way, work at McLaren Hospital. Mm -hmm. McLaren Regional Medical Center, and one of which helps to uh, produce a number of these shows. Her name is Diane Pulaski, and uh, Diane, if uh, you could come in here right now. And uh, along with Diane is our other guest, uh, Rita Hodak. Rita works in the Ask a Nurse program. And uh, Rita, I understand that there is an upcoming event for people out there who are health conscious for dietary needs, correct? Yes. Several of McLaren's family care centers that are located around the community will be sponsoring uh, nutritious cooking seminars. 
and in order to uh, attend them you just need to call ask a nurse and find out more information and the specifics on the family care centers where they'll be held. They're located in uh, many of the communities, Swartz Creek, Holly, um, Flushing, and Clio, Clio, Clio and yeah. our family care center right near McLaren Regional Medical Center. Okay, now we, of course, we've seen, uh, uh, you know, read on a previous program where we, we showed what goes on at Ask a Nurse. Uh, <clears throat> I want to mention that if you have any questions concerning uh, uh, this dietary, uh, what I call uh, uh, yum, yum, yum food, rice, and uh, you should give a call to? Ask a nurse. And what and the number there is? 762-2345. Okay, now we brought you people up here for a reason today, and that is? <clears throat> we're going to we're have all, to do a little taste. I can't you wait. Know, the the uh, I can't wait proof first. is in the tasting, as yes. they say. Rita? Are you excited Diane? about this, Diane? Oh, I'm very excited. It's After still nice and warm. Yeah. That you have with all I know. This, see, yeah. this is something I mean, lighter and more nutritious. It smells wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I don't suppose you want a fork, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I have to tell you, uh, my wife, she's Chinese, and uh, she taught me to eat very well with these. I'm going to uh, watch. Uh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the mm. Asian people wonderful. very often eat uh, a short grain or a medium grain rice because it does cling to itself a little more than the long grain rice that I used here. Mm -hmm. But, and that's the reason, because it, it's easier to pick up with chopsticks. Mm. But you're doing Great very stuff. well. Now, you know, and rice. one thing I noticed, too, they have the curd bowl. When, yes. when they eat their rice, yes. they And they bring it. it up very close. Right. It's awful hard to pick up rice, as you can see, see? folks. Well, that's because it's long grain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do a good job. But we as Americans seem to like the long grain. It's really just a matter of preference uh, and, and what you're accustomed to, whether you eat long grain or medium grain or short grain. They're all very good for you. No, I'm... Um, I got a question. Do you eat a lot of rice at home, Joy? Oh, yes. Now, really? you didn't think I was going to say no, did you? <laughs> what about the people out there that do like to mix the meat up, you know, put, put meat into their, you know, have a lot of meat in their food? Oh, Can that's they, one, why, you know, recipes? one of my uh, favorite recipes for leftover rice, don't ever throw your rice away. Keep it in the refrigerator or keep it in the freezer for six months if you, you, if you wish. But anyway, always have leftover rice on, on hand and mix it up with meat, as you said, uh, perhaps leftover roast from a day or chicken or whatever and mixing it up in a fry pan with a little uh, onion and, and just sauteing that lightly mm -hmm. leftover rice leftover vegetables leftover meat and it's a wonderful meal mm. is this good it's excellent excellent mm -hmm. Where, are we going to find this in mclaren's uh, cafeteria pretty soon oh we have a lot of rice in the cafeteria do you really oh yes so see you know if, if you want you can go over to the hospital you, you don't have to go over there to visit a friend folks just uh, <laughs> Drop by the cafeteria because I have been over there and it's great food. Oh, yes, I'd like to mention one thing also about sure. our um, our community centers. We have a new one opening in Fenton mm -hmm. this month. We're really excited about it, and there will be classes offered out there eventually also. So the Fenton community should look forward to that. It's a new center on Fenton Road. Mm -hmm. It is our McLaren Community Medical Center okay. on Owen Road, and oh. we're real excited about that. So. That's right. People in that area. You know something, and, and I've had Dr. Anby. Uh, you don't know who Dr. Anby is, but he is a cardiologist at McLaren Hospital, one of, or McLaren Regional Medical Center. And one of the things that I've noticed, uh, he's, he spoke on this, is that eating rice and this lower rates of bowel cancer, also no, hardly any problems with uh, mm -hmm. cardiological problems, unless, of course, you have had uh, you know, that in your family. So yeah. I see them waving over here. What that means, folks, is that we've got to wrap it up because they want to attack this food. This is Tom Crown for Community Focus. Joanne, thank you so much for being here. It's been wonderful. Have a rice day, uh, Tom. Oh, all of you. <laughs> what a pun. Okay. Tom Crown for Community Focus, and we'll see you in two weeks. Thank you so much. Doesn't that look good? Wouldn't you rather have that than the usual turkey or ham that you had this past Christmas? I have a lady next to me, Joanne Leith. You are with? The Rice Council. And we're going to talk about? Rice. All the cooking with rice you ever needed to know but were afraid to ask. This coming Sunday morning, and I'll teach you how to eat with chopsticks. Sunday morning, 930, Community Focus, right here on Fox 66. Hope to see you then. Mm.